Okay, I've got really good views about umbrellas. I think they make tremendous personal environments. So let's take an umbrella, switch the lights out, and I'll tell you what I'll do just for effect. I'll put an ultraviolet light on. That makes anything that, like this, like the slinky spring, that's fluorescent, it makes it really, really glow. And of course, what I'm doing here, I'm cutting down all the visual clutter. So, pop the lights on, and I'll show you how to fit it onto a nice brolly. There you go. If you've got a good quality brolly, you'll just be able to take the ends off like that. And then shove it back on again, and then pop the lights down, and we should see it'll look absolutely great. Lights off. Thank you. There they go. And uh, just prod it, see if it's still alive. No, it's not. There you go. Fantastic. What a wonderful effect that is. Now, sometimes you get the problem that you've, your room is too bright. So why not get a bit of blackout material and put it over the top of the umbrella? Now, I've got to be honest here, I could have chosen a bit that was just a little bit larger because the effect would have been a lot better. However, big piece of blackout material over the top of the umbrella and that will make for a wonderful little dark space. A little dark room, if you like, that's portable. And again, look at that. Nice fluorescent thing under there, it'll be great. A bit like a dead fish, though. Oh, okay, as you can see, I've got an ultraviolet light on big style here, but this really shows off this brolly. This one's a black umbrella, fantastic for visual stimulation. Don't forget, also torches will be wonderful. A lot of the stickers in there are very reflective. They're from Ikea. I've obviously got some nice tinsel just hanging down there. And I've got some fantastic stars that really are white, so they glow tremendously well under the UV. Oh yes, don't just shine torches on the inside of the brolly. Remember to shine them on the outside as well if you're looking at visual tracking and things like that. Just make it go obviously a bit slower than I'm doing there, but that's a, a lovely little idea. Get lots of points of interest in there to really get the visual skills going. Now here's a little tip, when you put an umbrella away, when it's got lots of stuff in, make sure everything's inside. If you've got stuff hanging out, it's going to get ripped off, so make sure it's all inside. Now this one is a lovely storytelling umbrella. This one's for the rainbow fish, about the fish who has the glittery scales, who needs to share them with his friends. Again, the use of ultraviolet light makes this look extremely bright, but a, a torch would do it absolutely fine. The Rainbow Fish was from Puppets by Post, uh, a really nice one, that. Those are from Ikea. Uh, they're actually in the children's bit. So, in fact, all of the other fish uh, are from Ikea there. Oh, one of them was from a pet shop, my little blue fish. You can just see them in the background. There's me, by the way. That's me. I'm pointing out the fact that the eyes glow under UV, which is really great for visual stim. You can do brollies for all sorts of stories, but something else. Really nice for visual stimulation, this one, but this is a mathematics umbrella. Les Staves is a great mathematician and he talks about mathematics with children with profound and multiple disabilities. He says that we first of all learn the number one, then we learn the number none, then we learn more than one. So here's a brolly with one, more than one, and occasionally none. Lots of different shapes, long, short, square, rectangles, there's close, there's far away. There's all kinds of mathematical principles uh, in a very, very simple umbrella like this. It's made with scoobies, fluorescent scoobies. I got some fluorescent tape as well from Mike Ayres, which is really nice. Oh, the things you can see at the bottom uh, are for counting. Let's just have a close look at those. I got those from Tesco. These are called spikies. These are to stop your drinks from being spiked in a bar. You put them in the top of a bottle of beer, a Budweiser or something like that. So they're really good. So, make yourself a maths brolly. That'll be really cool. You can put numbers in if you like as well. Now, Mike Ayres is a good supplier of umbrellas, to be honest, but I tell you who else is doing them fairly cheap, and that's IKEA. This is one of their white parasols. Cost me about four ninety nine. That's if you're talking sterling. There, I've got a couple of little mirror balls and a blast torch. There you go. You can see the blast torch just shining onto the mirror ball. Oh, two different kinds of mirror balls. One's from Matalan, the one at the front, and that doesn't have any glass mirror facets. The other one is from anywhere, and that has glass mirror facets. The blast torch is a really 
really nice in this situation because they clip onto the umbrella. So that means you don't have to hold the torch. However, sometimes holding the torch can make it a bit brighter. But it looks really cool, does that? It's really nice. Hand holding a torch will work well as well. As you can see here, I can just really point the, the torch onto the little mirror ball itself to get all the reflections, which is very nice. Here's an idea that you must try. Um, have a look in the supermarket, have a look in the off-license and see if you can find one of those. That's a special edition absolute vodka bottle. Well actually it's a plastic case that comes over the bottle, so it's not glass, it's plastic. It works really well as a little mirror ball hanging from a brolly. Lastly, have a look at this. This is brilliant. This is a wonderful bit of kit, it's from Ikea. It's a tent, but it's one that you don't actually have to put the spokes in. It's got, look, it's got like a bracket kind of thing there. And it's dead easy to put up and take down again. So here we go, you just pull it out like that. And uh, there you go. I've erected an instant tent. This is lovely when working with littlies, look at that. Wow, just velcro the thing together and you're off. There you go, stick it on the floor, you're away. You could do all sorts, you can hang things in that, all kinds of things. Then all you have to do is just, yay, fixed it, there you go. All you have to do then is take it down. Um, just You just sort of fold it back in again. It's dead easy. Just me. <laughs> Honestly, normally I can do this first time, but when the video camera was pointed at me, I had absolutely no chance. Anyway, I got it down in the end. Um, it's working. There it goes. Yep, 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 got it. <laughs> Brilliant. Brilliant. <sighs>